Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a progress ring or progress circle in Microsoft Excel. Once you follow the tutorial fully, you should have something like this. In Excel, it's called a donut chart and it's similar to a pie chart, but it just has the outer circle. And there are a few steps that we need to take in order to get it something like this, where we've got the percentage going around the outside. I've already got a video on my channel that shows you how to make the progress bar like this, but I think you'll agree that the progress circle is a bit more visual. I will cover how to make the progress bar as well in this video, and it's only a few extra steps. So I'm going to assume that you've already got your data or you're going to have your data that will be the basis for the progress. So for this example that we're going to use, I've made a money raised and a target. In order to start, it's easier if you get your data together like this. So maybe this has been pulled from somewhere else on the sheet or from another sheet. But essentially we've got the target as well as the current amount here at the top. The first step we're going to do is get the percentage of what has already been complete. So in this case, it'll be 30%. To get the current progress percentage, all we need to do is hit equals in the cell that we want to display it in, and then click on the current number that we've got, hit the divide key, which is forward slash, and then the total target. So it should look something like this. The formula equals the current value divided by the target number. Hit enter, and as you can see, we've got 0.3, which is right for this. Now we want to display this as a percentage just so that we've got it somewhere. So to do that, make sure you've got the cell selected and then click where it says number up here, click the arrow to the right of it and choose percentage. Now, if you don't want the two decimal places, you don't have to. So we're going to get rid of those by clicking the right button up here, which will get rid of them. The contents of this cell that we've just done will be the percentage that's displayed here. So whatever's in this cell will di be displayed in this percentage here. So it's important that we get it looking how we want it to when it's coming to the actual progress circle. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to add the progress bar. This is all optional at this stage. It doesn't actually affect the outcome of this progress circle. So feel free to skip ahead a little bit if you're not that interested, but it can be helpful to have the percentage displayed on the bar as well as the circle. So to do it, make sure you've got the cell selected and on the home tab, click on conditional formatting, then go down to data bars, click on more rules. And then in this window, all you'll want to do is select the automatic value to number on both of them. And the value stays at zero on the first and goes to one in the second one. And then I'm going to change the color to the green color. Click OK and you can see that it's changed for us there. So if I was to go ahead and change this to 600, we'll go to 60%. So that's working as it should. The next step we're going to do is get the missing percentage here. So in this case, it's going to be 40%. Now this can be displayed off the screen or it could be displayed as something like percentage to go or something like that, but it is going to be needed so that we can use it to fill up the rest of the pie chart progress circle. So I'm going to do it off screen because we don't actually need to display it. We will be drawing information from it to create the circle, but we can do that no matter where it is on the sheet. All we need to do is hit equals, then one minus, and then click the percentage that we've got that we've just made. So in this case, it's F34, hit enter, and you can see it's 40%. So if I change this back to 300, we've got 30% there and 70% there. To now actually create the chart, we're going to go to the insert tab at the top, then go to the chart section, and then click on the insert pie or donut chart icon. Go down to the bottom one, which will be the donut chart, and click on it. Now with the chart selected, go to the design tab and then the select data section. Now you can clear whatever is in this box at the top here. We just want it blank to start with. And we're going to go and click on the first percentage, which is the progress bar that we made, and then hit the control key and then click on the other percentage. So that'll select them both individually. Click OK. If your chart looks something like this, there's no need to worry. We've got two sets of data and we don't really want that. So to change it, go to select data and click on switch row slash column. Now you can see it's starting to take shape. We can get rid of the legend at the bottom. So just click on it and hit the delete key. 
We can change the title as well while we're here. And we'll also want to change the colors. So to do this, click on the chart and then click again onto the specific portion of the chart and then double click to open up the format data point screen here on the right. Go to the furthest left tab, which is the paint bucket and then find the color here. You may need to click on this arrow here to get the fill section. I'm choosing green for the portion that we have completed. Depending on the values you've got in your boxes here, it will change the value and the size of the portion. So just make sure you are choosing the right one. So we've got 30% and that is the 30% portion that we're changing to green. I'm going to change the orange portion to a gray color. I think it looks nice. If we leave the white borders as well, I prefer that look. So we've double clicked on that now to change the color of that. And I'm going to go with the lightest gray. All right, so now moving on to the percentage that we're going to get to display in the center. I've tried using the data labels to do it, but in my opinion, that isn't quite as good as the text box method that I'm going to show you. The data labels will move when the portion changes and the settings are a little bit more difficult to change. To do the percentage, then go to the insert tab and click on text box. Draw out the size of the box, something like this, but it doesn't need to be finalized for now. Once we're in the text box, we're going to go to this tab here, which is the formula bar. Click on equals and then choose the cell that we've got the progress in. So it's F34 and hit enter. Now you can see we've got 50% in here and if we change this to 700, we should get 70% and we do. We now need to get the text box looking something like this or however you would want it to look. So we're going to format it by going to the format tab when we've selected it. I'm going to remove the outline, so I'll go to the shape outline section here and click on no outline. I'm going to highlight the text by clicking on it and then holding shift and then using the arrow keys to select it. For some reason, it might not allow you to use your cursor to highlight it. In here, we can go back to home and change the text as we would normally. So I'll make it a bit bigger. I'll make it bold and I will center it to the box. I'm now going to align the box with the chart. The easiest way to do this, I think, is to align this rotation line thing with the top of the pie chart and then move it down so that the box is centered inside the circle. The final thing we're going to do is select the text box and the chart, both of them at the same time by holding shift and clicking them, right clicking and then choosing group. Just be careful once you've grouped it, if you go to move it twice, it will double click on the chart and only move that. So to move the number with the chart, you need to click off every time you drag it. And that's it. That's how to create the progress ring in Microsoft Excel. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, remember to leave a like. Feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.